Welcome back, guys. Hi. Zach Slesky, Kyle Fonts. Okay, Fonts. And we are Americans in Germany. Germany, Deutschland. Yeah. <laughs> and we're back with another one. Um, this time, we're talking about how to adapt into Germany. Uh, now, we're not all complete experts, but being here for about about what, eight months now, yeah. uh, I feel like we have a decent grip on things. Adapted, okay. I guess. I mean, we've made it this far. We aren't starved. Yeah. We didn't die. Well, the first, <laughs> first two weeks a little rough. Barely survived that one, but... We didn't die. That's what matters. How we yeah, I got the first one. Well, one. Um, number uno. Or what is it in German? Ein. Ein. When you're in another country and you're from somewhere else, anytime time that you're the foreigner, you need to be kind and patient. Um, and it goes a long way. If you're needing something from somebody else, um, you're gonna run into things such as not speaking the same language, them not knowing a whole lot of English, them, you know, um, not knowing what you're talking about and looking at you like you, you know, <laughs> are just completely just blowing their mind with information. I think it's just, I think it's just like a general yeah. statement, especially for Americans. The big thing for us, I think the stereotype is that we're very um, just confrontational, kind of in your face, and a lot of Europeans are just kind of like, uh. Yeah. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Number two, and this is one that I think I've I picked up really fast, even last year. That you have to walk faster than you're, <laughs> than you're usually used to, <laughs> because I swear it doesn't it doesn't matter where you are, where you're it, from. It depends where you are. I mean, if you're Maybe. in a touristy area, of a town, or yeah, especially if you're in another city, like and you're slowing down, you're looking. Like people understand that you're looking. Just don't stand in the bike lane. Yeah, bike lane's a whole other yeah. thing. <laughs> You'll get ran over in the bike lane. You need to walk faster like everybody else because you know which people are trying to go to the train station or yeah. try to make the bus or try to, you know, catch this or whatever, you know? <laughs> and so you can tell because they're walking fast, you know? So if you're, you know, traveling, walk fast with them. So I think it's a little bit different too. One thing I noticed, I don't know, it's maybe a little bit different from during the week as opposed to weekends, because usually, I think during the weekends, everything just is slower as opposed to during the week, because people are working. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's all different hours for everything. Even the bus runs on a different schedule. Like, yeah. it's just a little bit, everybody goes, oh, well, you know, <laughs> no time to work now. So, three. Three. Um, ooh, yeah. Um, being from Florida, this is a good one, because I have. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, um, and my dad can attest to this. If um, we do a reunion video and you come to Indianapolis, let us know if you want to Sorry, see that. Sorry, Papa Fonz is kind of sort of directed towards you. Um, you know, in in Florida, where I'm from, we wear a lot of bright colors. But my previous experience, knowing being from France, that in Europe, in Europe, you don't see people don't wear a lot of bright colors. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and so you want to wear darker colors. Um, more you know browns and and blacks and grays and more of that type of stuff versus you know a floral shirt or a bright orange tank top or um you know anything anything like that um, yeah i came out with that neon shirt neon, i was yellow like tank top and he went to go walk he was like yeah i think they'll see you dad Kyle's like we can have a talk <laughs> <laughs> when we were going to film Oh yeah, that's yeah. The first... we were going to film and we yeah. were going to walk around the cathedral and stuff um, and put the link for it in the iCard which is over here. I think it's over here. I'm going to stop pointing because I, I, I keep forgetting I went it. and did that. He put on some <laughs> blue shorts that had a little bit of um, neon on the short and then um, then turned around and put on this bright neon green yellow tank top. <laughs> hurt your eyes. Man. And you're like, whoo. It, the, hey, the part that topped it all off, ya. the part that topped it all off, he had the visor, and then he had his his camera around his neck, just, let's go. And yeah, total like, tourist dad, and it was great, oh, and it man. was awesome to watch, because when you come over here at eight months, you, you know, or nine months, or six months, or seven months, however long, you know, your, your trip over here is, um, you know, you're living here, so you try to adapt more, and try to be less noticed. Four. Number four. This is a. Uh, I, th I think this is like one that, one of the first two or three things that everyone kind of gets warned about before you even come over. Is you forget that, this. You may remember it yeah. once you first get here, but after you're here a while, 
um, you forget it and then you start to come off rude to some of the people here. Let's assume that, you know, just assume their native language. So in our case, I would just assume German is gonna be spoken. Don't just come out all fluent English, like, hey, it was good, it's stuff like that. Yeah. Um, the yeah. first thing you always wanna do is just always ask for English. It's like, do you speak English at all? Yeah. And then, and then if not, then piece together some German. <laughs> Just shove words in the place that they don't pull out. <laughs> try, try to make it work. Put the English words in the words that you don't know and try to work. <laughs> Do but, your best. But that's the good thing about the German language. They take a lot of stuff from it's uh, not too from far English. Off. Yeah. yeah, and they kind of like they they kind of sort of piece some it. things are way off. Yeah, some things are completely off because it's kind of yeah. I think older German words that yeah. you can't even us Americans just can't do the language. Yeah. Number five. To be punctual, um, like you said in some of our other videos, you know. Um, you know, Live or die by in Germany, it. you know, they're, <laughs> you know, the Germans are very stickler for the rules, um, and you know, you'll receive a pretty um, good. I mean, someone they'll, they'll say something to you um, yeah. if you're doing something wrong, um, but they also expect you if you say you're going to be somewhere at four o'clock, five o'clock. Yeah. You know, six o'clock, whatever. You right they expect the you to be there at, at four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock at that time. So be early if you're ever meeting a hot date in Germany. <laughs> Assume that if you agree, and this kind of falls into not just punctuality, but um, also kind of like promises. Germans have to have promises. When you make a promise, that yeah, is that, that is that stone. That is chiseled in the stone, and you better stick by it. Yeah. Because whew, they will throw hands if if you break that. Yeah. To us Americans, you're like, oh hey. You know something happened. Oh, I swear. Blah blah yeah. blah. So you say that to somebody else, they'd be like, "Oh, you swore." <laughs> okay. You know. You know. We take some of the seriousness off words that you know yeah. the rest of the world would take um, very seriously. Um, and you know, if you think of how we talk to each other, sometimes you know maybe we should kind of talk a little bit nicer to each other. <laughs> nope. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you guys have that's our five. Ways to adapt. Five ways into to adapt. Deutschland. My stuff will be in the bottom because he'll never put my stuff in the video. Socials. <laughs> Socials. He'll never be right here. It'll always be in the bottom. Like